Welcome. In front of me I have a Garmin Vivo Smart 3 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this smart band with your phone. You can pair this uh, smart band with your phone uh, two ways. First uh, option is to pair it during the setup and the second option is to uh, pair it after the device was set up already and you can go to settings and pair the device with your phone via the settings. I'm gonna show you uh, the setup option first and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through settings. Okay, so if you bought the device and it's new or it's been restored to the factory default, uh, you will need to set up the smart band first and you can uh, pair it with your phone during that process. First you will need to turn on the smart band and to do it simply uh, plug it in into charger and once you plug it into the charger it should turn on and once it turns on you should see this message right here the welcome message now swipe downwards on the screen to continue and now you should see the language menu here basically you can select the language uh, you want to use on your smart bed to do it simply tap on the arrows up and down to scroll through the list find the language you like to use and tap on it to confirm i'm gonna select english this and as you can see now we need to download and install the garmin connect mobile app and this menu will appear after a couple of seconds and now we can press on up and down buttons as you can see and we have options like per now and skip per so basically if you want to pair it during the setup process select the per now if you want to skip the uh, pairing now and simply set up your uh, device without pairing it with your phone you can select skip pair and skip it but we want to pair it now so let's tap on pair now option and you should see the screen right here now let's download and install the garmin connect app on our phone so let's open the uh, app store on our phone tap on the search bar in the app store type in garmin connect then tap search you should see this page right here garmin connect app developed by garmin let's tap on the install button to download and install the app and once the app is done installing you can tap on open button to open now we need to uh, log in into a garmin account you can also create a new one if you need to by tapping on create account but i already have an account so i'm gonna tap on sign in agree to the terms by checking the boxes then tap next now i'm gonna tap on email type in the email are you i used to create an account then tap on password and give me a couple of seconds i'm gonna enter my password And once you're done entering the password, simply tap on next to log in. Once you log in, you will be asked to allow the permission for the location. And to do it, tap on manage permissions. It should bring you to the permission uh, menu, basically, or you should get the pop-up to allow the permission for some reason on this phone it redirects me to the play store i don't get it but i'm just gonna go to home screen press and hold on the um, garmin connect icon tap on app info uh, tap on permissions find the location and i'm gonna allow the permission for example only while using the app then i'm gonna close this go back to the garmin connect app and once you allow the uh, permission for the location, it, would, it should automatically detect your uh, Vivo Smart Free Band, but uh, because it doesn't work as it should on this phone, as you can see, it didn't detect it. We need to now uh, select the device from the list. And to do it, simply tap on Browse All Compatible, compatible Devices, my bad. Select the uh, Vivo Family, and here we have the Vivo Smart 3. Let's select it. 
and it's again asking us for location permission if it's oh it wants us to enable the uh, allow all the time but we don't want to do that for now so let's go not up open up now and as you can see it found our uh, vivo smart let's tap on connected then tap on ok now we need to enter the pin from our smart band on our phone to confirm the pairing so let's enter the pin and then tap on ok now let's tap on next here we can set up a sleep time basically uh, when you go to bed and when you wake up this is useful when you use the do not disturb mode uh, basically you you have an, you have an option to um, automatically turn on the do not disturb mode when you go to sleep and when you wake up you can set up the time by tapping on this frame and then you can swipe up and down on the screen to change the time like that and then you can tap on the second frame set up the wake up time and once you're done tap on next here tap on yes now we can uh, select the preferred orientation of the screen we have portrait which is this one and landscape which is gonna be basically the screen is gonna be sideways like this select the orientation you like by tapping on it and then tap next here we can select the preferred wrist I'm gonna select left one and then tap next and now we can select the watch face we have a couple of choices select the one you like and then tap next to continue right here we can set up some goals like uh, steps floors and stuff like that you can do it by tapping on edit my goals i'm just gonna tap on skip to skip this step for now and right here we can enable the notification access basically if you want to get the uh, a prompts about the notifications on your smart band you can do it by allowing the notification access to the garmin connect app you can also uh, just skip this step and keep it disabled if you don't want to use this feature but for the sake of the video i'm gonna allow the notification access so i'm gonna tap on allow then tap allow here we have calendar again you can skip it if you don't want to use it and if you want to uh, have the access to the calendars uh, and stuff like that like notifications about the birthdays and maybe something like that tap on allow calendar access and then tap allow next is call logs basically information about who's calling you again if you don't want to use this feature tap on skip if you want to uh, enable this option tap on allow call log and then tap allow next we have phone call access again you can skip it or allow it messages skip it or allow it And now let's tap on sync, finish, here we have a tutorial how to use the band, you can go through it by tapping on next, then tap on finish, now here I'm gonna tap on no thanks, got it, and on the band we can go through the tutorial how to use it. And once you see the watch face on your band, that means that the device is ready to use and the devices are paired. Also, if you want to pair the device the second way through the settings, because it's already been set up, simply wake up the screen on your smart band. First, let's unpair, unpair the devices maybe. So let's go here, uh, remove the device, remove. Okay, wake up the screen on your smart band, press and hold on the screen to open the menu. Uh, in the menu, uh, swipe downwards and then tap on the settings icon. And here we have this icon with the phone and Bluetooth, tap on it. Scroll down, uh, find the option called Per Now tap on it and again we have the screen now in the app 
uh, you, you could go again, open the app, log in, and you should get the pop-up that it found the um, device and just follow the steps like, like we did before. But if you're already logged in into app and you want to pair the device uh, from this screen, simply tap on the plus button right here and it should automatically uh, find your watch, tap connect it, tap OK and just repeat the steps uh, we did before to pair the devices. OK, and that's how you pair your smart band with your phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.